Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 FPS video. In today's video we are going to be creating something called a conservative ammo system. So what that is, is essentially it's a bit more of a commonly used ammo system similar to Call of Duty and Battlefield. So I'm going to try and explain it as best as I can. So in the last video we did create an ammo system. Now when we did shoot and they use some of their ammo, what we would do is essentially take away the whole clip from the max ammo and put it into the ammo, essentially throwing away and losing anything in the current clip that the player hasn't used. Now what this is, the system that we had before is a bit more tactical and it's a bit more realistic. However, games like Battlefield, when you only shoot once or twice, it's only going to take one or two bullets from the max ammo and then put it into your current clip which is nice. Now the reason why they do this is because it sort of stops the player having to think about when they can and can't reload so much it just makes things a bit smoother um, so what we're essentially going to be doing in today's video is pretty much converting the current system that we have got and putting it into this new conservative ammo system now bear in mind this video is entirely optional you can choose exactly which ammo system you want it's entirely up to you however to create this one I do advise that you go ahead and watch the last video where we created the last uh, reload system with the function, the inputs, as we're still going to be reusing some of the stuff we had from there. So having said that, what you want to do is open up your third person character real quick and then you want to get into this reload function. Now before I do that, just know I'm going to be keeping this from the last video. So like I said, if you haven't seen the last video already, you won't have this, so make sure you do go ahead and copy that go into your reload animation and then from there what we're going to be doing is pretty much getting rid of all the existing logic for the reload stuff and we're going to be starting from scratch. So what we're going to be doing now then before we start anything is we need to create a new ammo variable and that's simply going to be called ammo difference. Now the reason why we're making this is so we can pretty much store the difference between the clip size and the ammo so that the engine knows exactly how much ammo to take from the max ammo and put into the current clip. Um, so what we're going to do is set this variable type for ammo difference to integer just to make it exactly the same as all the other ones that we have got. So starting from the beginning then what I want to do is pretty much set up a system to check to see whether or not the player actually needs to reload because if they haven't fired I don't want it to run the code and I don't want it to waste any of their ammo or anything like that. So I'm just going to run a quick check and that's just going to be checking to see if integer is less than and the two values that we're going to be working with for this is going to be the ammo and the clip size. So what this is doing, essentially if the ammo is less than the clip size, that means they have fired. So it's going to return true and then from there we're going to tell it to replenish the ammo. If it isn't less than that, it means they haven't fired and I'm simply going to tell it to print a string and that string, the text for that is simply going to be full ammo. So just type that in properly, full ammo and that's all good. So what I'm going to do now then is quickly compile this just to test it to make sure it isn't reloading when it doesn't need to. So without firing anything, I'm going to press R and it's going to say full ammo. That's all good. I'm going to fire once and now if I try and reload, it's not going to do anything because I haven't got any code there, but it's not returning full ammo either, so that's all good. So what we need to do now then, knowing that that's all set up and working, we need to set up all the logic for the reload stuff now. So what we need to do then is essentially get the difference between the clip size and the ammo so that we can take that from the max ammo and put it into the current clip. So the way that we're going to do this is simply use integer minus integer and we're just going to take away one from each other to get that difference. So get your clip size at the top, hook this up just like this and then at the bottom get your ammo and that's pretty much going to deduct the difference and then with this what we can do is then check to see if the integer is greater than and then hook this up into your B and then for your A hook this up into your max ammo. So what this is essentially doing is checking to see whether or not the max ammo is greater than the difference and the reason why I want to do this is because I need to know whether or not the player can actually you know put the whole difference in there and we're going to turn this into a branch as well. So if we hook this up into here for true, it's going to run that check. And then if it is true, we're going to tell it to simply 
take away the difference from the max ammo and then put it into the current ammo and then if it isn't we're simply just going to tell it to put whatever's left into it. Now this is where our ammo difference comes into play. What I need to do with this value here where we're actually getting the difference, I need to use this to set ammo difference. And the reason why I'm turning this into a variable as opposed to just hooking up everything to this is because it makes things easier and also it doesn't store the number sometimes when you're going to the so deep into the blueprints. It's a bit of an odd one but just use a variable and it'll make things so much easier. And what you also want to do is copy this so press Control c and Control v to get a second one as we'll need one for both true and then one for false as well. So we're just going to hook it up just like that leaving a little bit of space. Now the one at the top here what you do need to do is hook up ammo difference into this over here just like we have done for the other one just so it has a target source. So with this now then so if max ammo is greater than the difference all we're going to do from this is simply set ammo and we are just going to add on the difference. So we're going to do integer plus integer with the top value being the existing value for ammo and then the second value is simply going to be your difference. So drag in your difference just like that and that's all good. So what should happen now if I compile press play and then shoot a couple of times press reload it should go back up to 25 and that's all good. However, it's not taking that difference away from the max ammo yet, so that's something that we need to do. And we're pretty much just doing the reverse of this. So simply set max ammo, and then this time, instead of doing integer plus integer, you want to do integer minus integer as we're taken away from the value. So what we're going to do then is get our original max value, am a max ammo value. And then what we're going to do is pretty much just take away that ammo difference from the max ammo, just like that. So now then, if we compile this, press play, shoot a couple of times, press reload, and you can see now it's only taken away the bullets it's used. So if we test this again, if we shoot once, it should set our max ammo to 99 when we reload, and you can see it's done that, and it's a bit more conservative, and it's not wasting any ammo at all, which is perfect. Now. There's only one last step that we need to do, and that's for when the player does not have enough ammo to, you know, reload the gun completely, like it needs to be. So what we're going to do in that instance is essentially just uh, tell it to add whatever it's got into it. So what we're going to do is from this one over here for false on this little line, we are simply going to tell it to set ammo, and we are simply going to set the ammo to the max ammo. So basically it's just taking whatever values in the max ammo and just putting it into the ammo, which is all good. So what we're going to do now then is from set, we are going to do set max ammo. And then from this, we are just going to do, uh, and just, we're just going to set this equal to zero. So we're going to leave it exactly how it is. Now, if we're doing this, doing it this way, it's not always going to work 100% for us. So what we need to do, instead of just adding on the max ammo, that's going to throw away whatever's in there already. So what I want to do is simply integer plus integer instead. So hook this up, hook this up, and then if we get our original ammo value, hook this up in here as well, and that will get everything working for us. So if we compile this and your code looks exactly the same as mine, 100% it's going to work exactly as it should. So what I'm going to do before I end the video is one last test to quickly see if our reload function is working as it should. So I'm going to shoot once just to test this, or twice even press reload, and you can see the max ammo has gone down. That's all good, and no matter how far I go through the clip, it's only going to take away the difference. So what I'm going to do now then is I am going to go all the way down to the last clip and I'm going to use about half of it and I'm going to make sure that I can still reload properly. So 10 and 7, that's fine. Press reload and you can see it's now only added on the last bit and that's all good. And if I use all my last bullets and try reload, it's not doing anything. I can't fire again, it's not changing from zero and that's all good. So having said that, that is pretty much everything for the video guys. I hope you have enjoyed it just as much as I have. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. 
This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.